Deputy Speaker. Almost two weeks ago during the budget debate on Parliament, we heard the Speaker taking some responsibility for the chaotic situation Parliament seems to have been in since 20, the 2014 election, acknowledging that lessons have been learned and committing to increased efforts to correct the situation, as Honourable De Deza did today. Sadly, most speakers simply resorted to finger pointing and took no responsibility themselves, as some have today. What stood out for me was what the Honourable Deputy Chief Whip said at the time. As members of Parliament, we took an oath to obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution. The ACDP, for example, voted against the Constitution. The ACDP, um, <laughs> because of the serious concerns around certain clauses, our decision was not a blanket rejection or disrespect for the Constitution, but an expression of how seriously we felt the negative impact of those clauses would be on South Africa. While we entered Parliament with, the, with every intention of challenging those clauses, we have always respected and upheld the Constitution of our country. In taking the oath as members of the National Assembly, we understood it imposed an obligation on us individually and collectively and demanded of us conduct inside and outside of the National Assembly that showed respect for not only the Constitution, but for the institution of Parliament, the rules of Parliament, and the people of South Africa, including MPs and office bearers. That is not to say we got it right immediately. It took some time for us to learn how to express our concerns and passionately held views in a manner that addressed the issue without resorting to being rude and casting aspersions on other people's character and intentions. As new members, we pushed the limits and tested the rules on many occasions, but this fifth parliament has ushered in unprecedented levels of lack of respect for this democratic institution, lack of respect for each other, lack of respect for the voters, and allows party politics to disrupt proceedings, undermine the work of parliament, and generally promote chaos and anarchy. Since the revised rules, have now been agreed, they will need to be applied consistently and unwaveringly. The ACDP, ACDP believes change is not only good, but it is essential. It is foolhardy, however, to change just for the sake of change. We must change what does not work or add value. The ACDP also condemns the actions of those involved in promoting political agendas to the detriment of Parliament, both within the National Assembly and the administration. The recently revealed political agenda of Nahau to destabilize Parliament and get rid of the Secretary to Parliament being a case in point. The ACDP calls on management and the administration to remain professional and not to get caught up in the politics. We acknowledge, however, that anarchy, ill discipline, threats to management and the Secretary to Parliament and a stated intention to render Parliament unworkable and ungovernable cannot be tolerated. Honourable An member, action must be taken where expired. evidence incriminates anyone. I thank you. Honourable Julia.